Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over the Security Plus Complete Guide for 2023. How to pass it. Alright, and this is actually monumental for me because what, what is today right now? January 2nd, 2023. Exactly a year ago, I got my Security Plus January 2nd, 2022. That's the date right there. So I'm going to give you the complete guide, what worked for me and can possibly work for you as well if you take advantage of it. All right, so those that don't know what the CompTIA Security Plus is, I'm gonna briefly explain it to you. It's a very popular certification in cybersecurity and outside of cybersecurity, which has a lot of clout, you know, notoriety. All right, so Security Plus, it's a, let's go over to the exam. It's a 90 minute exam, so, and you have to have a passing score above 750. Okay, and it's roughly, you could say 400 bucks, the exam voucher. So very, very expensive exam. So please, please make sure you're studying. And we're going to go over study techniques. You're studying very well that you can pass it on your first try. All right, you can either take this in a physical testing center or a online testing center through via Pearson View. I personally did the online testing center. Very quick, just straight to the point. All right. So it's again, it's multiple choice and you're going to have something called PBQ performance based questions. Let's click this real quick. Performance based questions are kind of like lab questions. I believe you get like two to three of them on CompTIA. So you want to watch out for those. All right, those lab questions, they're worth a lot of points and they take longer to complete. But majority of the exam is multiple choice. OK, now if you're watching this video, you're probably you probably want to take the security plus you probably want to get the comp tia security plus for multiple reasons and if you guys don't know why to take it i'm going to give you the benefits of getting your security plus if you're willing to let's go into it the benefits of the comp tia security plus all right so this is from joe sharp is a vendor neutral certification comp tia security plus is a vendor neutral cybersecurity certification what do you mean by vendor neutral basically it's it's a, it's a just general perfect. It's not like an AWS security cert certification or a Microsoft security certification. It's vendor neutral. So you can apply it anywhere. And it gives you the basic, most general vocabulary of understanding security. You know, your social engineering, your, your types of attacks, your basic defense, and so on and so on. All right. Next one, knowledge and skills. Guys, if you're studying for the security plus, certification and we're going to go over um some study materials you could get a, a lot of knowledge from it last year when i studied for mine i learned a lot <laughs> i'm telling you about attacks you know stuff about governance about the laws so on and so on so the cybersecurity, sorry the comptia security plus certification you studying for it will give you a lot of knowledge and skills that you could take into the actual field and so on Number three, there's no prerequisites. You don't need certain. You don't need years of experience. All those recommended. You don't need years of experience to test out. You could take it as a somebody who has no IT background. Just like I came from customer service, took the exam, and they have an IT background. All right. Job prospects, and we're gonna talk about job prospect. We we'll actually go to that right now. Go to job pros um, prospects. So with the comp, I typed it in on Indeed. This is just one job searching platform. You get 7.6 thousand results, but we're gonna um, look through these real quick. I could see a help desk technician job, one security, a security plus, cloud engineer, security plus required. Why, guys? I'm telling you, the security plus is bigger than you think. All right, although it's not a practical exam as you know a BTL one, it will give you. It has way more clout. It's way more recognizable, especially among HR and it will increase your job prospect, all right? So on, so on. IT configuration technician, all right? It wants CompTIA certifications. Help desk technician, CompTIA certs, so on and so on. Network engineer, let's look at this one. CompTIA, all right? Information security analyst junior, CompTIA security plus. So I could go on and on. Security Plus is very popular, especially among you know job sites and job posting. All right, so let's go back to the benefits. 
it will increase your job prospects especially when you're job hunting higher pay scale this is an interesting one this is an interesting one so sometimes employers will actually no this is yeah employers will give you what a higher salary potentially or even to which uh, not to which in reimbursement cert reimbursement or increase your current salary for every cert you have i know some employers who do that so yes you can get a higher pay scale with security plus um comp tia community yeah you're comp tia certified you got security plus now you get access to the community you get access to professionals you could contact people on linkedin discord with that cert as well and make great connections globally recognized again it's one of the one of the most popular cybersecurity certifications in the world comp to security plus all right personal satisfaction when i got my security plus exactly a year ago i had a high dopamine rush i felt amazing i felt, I felt it just felt great i'm I have it on my wall right now i'm looking at it right now still have it on my wall to this day all right you get a digital bad on credibly so you could share that link with your peers and have people verify that and last but not least you can you could get some double um government jobs because it meets dod 8570 requirements you could do some government jobs with the security plus so don't crap on the security plus very great cert all right now let's go over some study techniques what you guys need to do whatever method you're using and guys i'm going to insert the method i use i personally study off and i'm, I'm gonna go over it we're gonna go over it I study off the exam cram book. That was my only study source, believe it or not. And I'm gonna go over that. I'm gonna drop an extra video at the end of this video, going over how my, my study techniques, highlighting techniques, note-taking techniques throughout the whole book, all right? So whatever resources you guys are using, you can use Professor Messer. He has a full video course on CompTIA Security Plus on YouTube. Type in Professor Messer Security Plus he has a whole video course just in case you're not, you know, book friendly or you're not an avid reader. All right. You don't have the attention span to go through a couple pages. Go for the security. Go for the video courses. That will suffice. There's no shame in that. Go for the video courses. But make sure whatever method you're using to study, you're doing practice tests at the end of your studying. All right. To verify or to see your competence level. All right. So I personally use Pearson's. Wait, wait, if you get exam cram, it comes with it. You can do Pearson's uh, CompTIA um, practice test. CompTIA has their own practice test for free right here. Another thing I use, let me see if I can quickly find it. What's this it right here? This one. Oh my gosh. If you guys have an iPhone, this, you can get this on Android. Get the CompTIA Security Plus exam prep app. Love this app. You have all the domains right here with practice questions and tests. So, Use this app, and you can see the reviews, the reviews a lot. Use this app and practice when you're on the go, when you're sitting in a, a line, you're, you're waiting for your food, you're in a, a car or something. Turn on the app and do some questions. Get your skills up, get your study up. So it's a CompTIA Security Plus exam prep by Thank You. This is in the App Store right now. I use this one. Um, let's go. Lastly, guys, if you're going to buy that voucher, remember, remember, it just case you guys forgot. Just go down here. The test is what roughly 400 bucks, exactly 392 bucks. If you go on CompTIA's ACAD site, Academic Source site, you could get the voucher for almost 150 dollars off. This is what I did. I got it for 247. That's 247 dollars. You could get it on the ACAD store, along with other certifications that you can see. Network Plus for 168, A Plus for 109. You can get the Security Plus for two forty seven, so that's a hundred. What is that? One hundred fifty dollars off your saving. Take advantage of that. All right. So let's go into this. We're gonna go on tips to pass through Security Plus. All right. This is a blog or paper I wrote last year, May. We're gonna briefly go over it. Um, I guess I'll link it in the description below if you guys want it. Okay. We already went over the CompTIA, again, maximum of 90 questions, PBQ, multiple choice, use of the recommended experience level, at least two years of IT administration with a focus on security. But again, as we mentioned, you could take it without having this experience level and passing score, at least a 750. 
Now let's talk about the domains. This is something I didn't break down earlier. Domain one, attack threats and vulnerability. That's 24% of the damage. 24%, guys. This, and make sure you have this domain jam pack locked in. Architecture and design, that's 21% of the exam. Implementation, 25%. Operations and incident response, 16%. Governance, risk, and compliance, 14%. All total up to 100%. Make sure you're good on all these domains, guys. We're gonna go over note taking. Let's talk about our first tips, interleaving. So in general, interleaving is a process where students mix or interleave multiple subjects or topics while they study to improve their learning. All right, so one tip you can use, you can use the exam cram, which we're gonna go over this book right here. And I'm a, again, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a live video of me with the physical book and my note taking slash highlighting techniques. So if you have the exam cram, all right, very great book. You can get this online for free or you could buy the physical version for roughly 40 bucks. Very, very great book. So on, so on. Oops. So get the exam cram. Or if you're using that to study and also using Professor Messer, which has a YouTube course for free on Security Plus, you can mix those two um, study materials together because why? They're related. It's the same subject, same topic. That's called interleaving. Okay, I'm going to read the book now. While I'm in the car commuting to work, I'll turn on Professor Messer. You're mixing it up. You're getting that studying. All right, so these are some good resources. Actually, okay. Yeah, I'm going to definitely drop this in the description below. I have the Professor Messer video playlist on YouTube. The link's right here. Jason Dion, he has another link. All right, with Security Plus. He has practice exams as well. And exam cram. So I'm definitely going to drop this in the link below so you guys can take advantage and read this on your own. Second tip, time management. This is something a lot of people struggle with. You want to make sure you carve out blocks of time every day or every other day for you to study. All right. Do not just study. I'm going to study 15 minutes a day and I'll study two minutes next month. That's not going to work. It's not, that's not going to work. So you want to make sure you're getting daily consistent studying in so you can what? Pass this exam efficiently. Time management is the ability to use one's time effectively and productively. So if you really want to get the cert, you really want to level up your career, you want some satisfaction or whatever reason you're getting the cert for, you got to carve out time. People, the real ones, they're going to carve out time to knock this out. All right. So tips for time management. Keep a mental and physical to-do list. Um, I personally keep a mental to-do list. Okay, I'm going to do this today, that today, that today, that today. Guys can write it down. All right, we're doing this. We're doing that. Just make sure you're on track. Prioritize your prioritizing your tasks by rank. All right. If you're serious about your career, Security Plus, that's going to be on the top of your priority. Instead of what? Potentially playing video games, watching anime, doing something else. It's up to you to prioritize your priority priorities. All right. Is Security Plus important to you or not? That's up for you to discuss. The um describe so we have managed distractions all right so personally i don't use social media other than linkedin which i'm barely on um managed distractions all right so i mean i personally put my phone on do not disturb majority of the day so i'm not it's not buzzing or call it none of that stuff so i'm just focused i'm locked in so that's up for you guys you want to turn off notifications move to a quiet setting study in the library if you got a lot of people in your house so on and so on time blocking again something i mentioned earlier you don't want to be spinning plates doing multiple tasks if you're doing multiple tasks at one time you're not giving your 100 percent to one task carve out a block of time and focus and another thing track your time all right you can track your progress okay i knocked out 50 percent of domain one all right i'm almost done with domain three track your time so you know okay i'm gonna be testing out soon some people they purchase their voucher put their they have their testing date ahead in the future to what track their time all right this is what i'm taking it so i gotta go hard again guys whatever resources you're using to study whether it's video or books make sure when you're done with that you're doing practice tests slash questions to measure your competency if you're doing well on those go ahead and test out go ahead and test out that's that that's the exam cram book I personally use this is my only study resource only one I read this book um, I use it I guess I'll say how long this took me I read this book for what six to seven days straight eight uh, ten to twelve hours a day 
and I managed to knock out the test. I know that's a little bit extreme, that's not the norm, but just in case anybody had questions on how long it took me, that's how long it took me. Roughly six days, but I was doing 10 to 12 hours straight reading the book front to back. All right, so take your time with it, guys. Don't, you know, you don't have to be in a rush or anything. Take your time, absorb the knowledge, and yeah, I'm looking forward to see you guys knock out this Security Plus exam slash certification. All right, remember, right after this part of this video, I'm gonna show you my note taking guys for those who are purchasing the book to <coughs> increase their study techniques. All right, guys, thank you so much. Good luck in your Security Plus. Let me know if you pass, man. All right, guys, take care. Peace. All right, guys, let's go over the Security Plus book, the exam cram. All right, 601 edition. And I'm gonna show you my note taking guides and how to do it. please write this down. I'm gonna repeat it just once. So let me start with the beginning. So this is chapter one. All right, so hopefully you guys can see the camera. So everything in yellow, I usually do that for definitions. Let's see, green is for like anything relating to financial. Blue is for, you know, definitions, interesting words. But that one is talking about hybrid warfare. I thought that was interesting, so I put that in yellow. Oh, sorry, blue. As you can see, yellow highlights for definition. Let's go on to this page. Orange goes into tactics. It explains the attacks. All right, again, green again right there. You see the things in black on the outline. That is like extra definitions I found from Google that I wanted to add more or wanted to research. So this one right here talks about supply chain. So I added that on top. <clears throat> again, yellow for definitions. Um, you got pink right there. That's for tips and techniques. Um, this one goes over the explanation of a virus. This one talks about the difference between a virus and a worm. Worms uh, don't need to attach themselves to fouls and program to um, replicate. All right, I can see I have a lot of black marks right there. Black writings. Those are extra definitions outside of the exam cram book that I added. Again, yellow for high uh, definitions. Orange to explain tactics. Oh, I, I don't think I explained red. Red is for threats. Threats and they're dangerous. All right. Orange is for tactics. Yellow is for definition. Blue is for interesting words. Pink is for technique uh, tips. And green is for anything relating to uh, financial. So I don't want to show too much of this book. Um, pretty much did this throughout my whole study section with um exactly last year january 2nd 2022 so hopefully i'm holding this camera right could be kind of blurry and so on and i actually went above and beyond and added pages within the book just because i ran out of room to add you know extra definitions all right so yeah i pretty much did this throughout the whole entire book so on and so on again green for financial other pages in here so on so on so yeah this is a good page just put everything on it yeah so just to re recap anything in black those are extra definitions i found on google that i wanted to add it to this book yellows for definition pinks for te uh, advice tips Reds for threats. Blue is for interesting definitions. Uh, orange is for tactics. All right, and green is for anything monetary, financial. All right, so I think I think that's it, guys. I don't want to keep going through the rest of this. It's going to be the same thing over and over again. And if you want to go above and beyond and add pages, that's up to you. But this is one of the most effective study guides techniques for me when I pursued the Security Plus certification. So just wanted to share it with you guys. All right.